punks, new wavers, hippies. You've seen their chartreuse mohawks cheer on Dan Aykroyd in Ghostbusters or slam dancing in suburbia. And you wonder, where did they all come from? Well, these odd-looking individuals are real punks from the streets of Hollywood. Their link to the big time is punk scoutmaster Janet Cunningham. Her agency, Cash, handles the casting of punks, bikers, winos, and hippies as extras in feature films. I just think it's a talented group of people, and I like to have people look at them, and, you know, I put myself in the position to draw the attention, I guess, to myself as a, a business person, that they'll look beyond me to them, because they're the ones that are... They're the ones who have the real talent. I just had the, the foresight or whatever to get in front and get the door open so they can run through. The image of punks by the media has always been negative, violent, destructive. Where I see them as humorous and creative. Let's see why they call them punks. Come on, let's dance. Are you kidding? It looks like a room full of transfer. Come on. I guess because people are fascinated by violence or something where uh, things that they don't understand so punk has seemed mysterious and violent and dangerous and so I guess people want to see it that's part of the reason I even started doing this is that if it was going to happen it was I wanted it to happen with some degree of accuracy and authenticity and enthusiasm is what musical comedy director Alan Arkish looks for when making a movie about punks. I knew from working with Extras Guild people what they're like, and they don't really have much enthusiasm for their work. I mean, who wants to make a lifetime career of that job? It's okay to do it for a while, but, you know, they sit around in their little lounge chairs all day, and every time you want them to do something, it's a big deal. And they certainly wouldn't understand the kind of music they were doing. What kind of people understand heavy metal and new wave music? The kind of people you don't want to meet in an alley. The kind of people that my mother would be frightened of. Um, people that have all the elements of danger, you know, uh, urban fear. Fearsome as these punks may look, they've developed an urban sensibility as a matter of survival. I needed the money really bad. Yeah, it keeps me out of trouble. Uh, um, I don't I don't have to do anything bad to get money. I just call Janet up and say, I need work. For the money and also because you never know, sometimes you can get a, a speaking part out of it. At first, you know, everyone's put off by the dress and everything because it looks fearsome. But gradually, as everyone got to know everyone, there was a lot of friendships that were formed, and it was a very relaxed atmosphere, and it answered that incredible question that's on everyone's mind. What do punks do in the daytime? They work on movies. I'm a filmmaker myself, and a lot of my motivation for going out on these jobs is to see what Hollywood is doing, what Hollywood is making, how Hollywood is using the people that I'm interested in using in my films, how they represent them. <laughs> It, you know, if, if anything, it gives people a chance to make a living without having to completely conform to, you know, someone else's standards helps people out, I think. So many of those pictures use punks in the sense of, look at that geek, look at that strange person, and in a sense, it's working off a novelty, and what they don't realize is that it's a major movement in America. You see it in every city. So, if your child wants to get a mohawk, Consider this, he may be the next John Travolta.